Alrighty, things are getting exciting and continuing to stay exciting at Canada's Wonderland. <laughs> um, that's that's super cheesy. Cut it out. Um, but nonetheless, uh, things are staying exciting in terms of construction updates. Um, to be honest, Mindbuster is getting retracking, as you saw in our last video. I don't understand the section. We'll talk about that a little more in this weekend's podcast um why this section of mindbuster but yeah they're doing this section of mindbuster now um and um yeah to be honest i'm i just i just don't get it i don't get it um maybe there's gonna be more i mean it is super early like i i, I need to remind myself it's january and for those of us that have seen retracking work go on we've usually seen it in March and April. So maybe this is a really good sign. Maybe it's going to be a really large portion of Mindbuster that gets retracked um, this off season. So that's exciting. As you can see right there, if you look really closely down by that base fence where that white truck is, there's the rebar cages um, for the foundation and the support columns, um, the footings of a Tundra Twister. So super excited. They are really taking advantage of this nice weather um they're gonna be really far ahead of schedule on this flat ride if they keep going because uh, uh, typically wonderland doesn't start flat ride construction usually until march so this is a really healthy sign so confident that this ride will be open on season pass holders night um if the parts arrive overseas really well wherever they're made um but yeah nonetheless um, I'm really excited. Tundra Twister, honestly, I, you guys, if you've watched the podcast or you've seen my opinions, I'm really excited for Tundra Twister. It's going to be amazing. Um, but nonetheless, Snoopy's, Snoopy's Racing Railway, I don't know why I said it like that, but I did, um, is the footings are complete, I think. Again, it's hard to determine when you don't know the layout of the coaster on the land fully, but I think the footings are complete, and now they're working on the the structural foundation, so like the station building, and then they'll do the little launch shed, the second launch shed um, building as well. I believe that's what's going on. Um, if not, then they are still pouring some footings, but I think from what I've heard, the footings are complete, um, and we should start to see some things arriving over the next couple weeks. Uh, there was a shipment that arrived yesterday um, of some... I believe it's for the station building. It's really hard to tell. Wonderland's doing a pretty good job of hiding things, or whoever's on the construction site is doing a really good job of hiding things around that orange shipping container. So I can't get a good view. Um, but parts have arrived. I did watch them arrive on a flatbed. Um, so super excited because we should start seeing some support columns arriving in the next two weeks. So super excited about that. And you know what happens when support columns come in. What it follows is definitely track. Um, we are also keeping a really close eye on our 2025 edition. Um, so we are looking for signs of construction. But we did notice the um, company that was in charge of pouring the footings and digging the footings has moved over to Tundra Twister. So that same company is probably going to work on the 2025 edition, which means that we won't see anything until these two new editions for 2023 are started. Um, and that's if that, because again, we're going to see stakes in that. So we might not see work start until 2020, end of 2023, beginning of 2024, uh, depending on what coaster it is. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's construction update. See you this Saturday at 8 p.m. on the podcast. Have a good one, guys. Bye.